Well, there's a, uh, there's a lot of people now in the self-development industry talking about um, how important it is to listen to the feelings in the body. Absolutely. Because that intelligence, the emotional intelligence, yes. is is key. It's it's our most mm -hmm. natural and wisest form of direction. Now, yes. in that place, though, to stay in that, like I understand you do this hour of meditation, hour mm -hmm. of yoga, and that yes. comes through in your art because you can see that you've just liberated such a talent in doing so. But for day to, day to day, you're welcome. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, but day to day, how do people do that? Or do you even have suggestions for, our, say, our oh, viewers? Suggestions, to, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, meditation is one of the best forms of quieting the mind, the right uh, part of the mind. It's this constant noise in our heads, this voice that we hear. Mm -hmm. It's not actually us. It's a tool that our brain uses to create language. And the, the real you uh, is really underneath that. So you have to quiet your mind in order to really feel who you are. Mm -hmm. So I would say daily meditation, and it doesn't matter how long you do it for. You could do it for five minutes a day, or you can do it for an hour a day. And it has, it, whatever it is, it has a cumulative effect over time. Yes. And you begin to notice your world changing as you, as you get into this process of meditation. And take up yoga. You know, it's important to be physically healthy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so watch, watch what you watch on television. It all has an effect on you. Um, so start to discern. Start to discern, you know. And this, uh, these, you know, shoot 'em up, chase me movies and uh, violence, uh, this, pl this cascade of violence on television, of course it has an effect. People are saying, oh no, it doesn't have an effect. Our kids are quite normal. Uh, but no. it's not true. You know, there is. Yeah.